Adobe Acrobat Sign's basic account sharing makes it easy to securely share content between multiple users in your organization. Your document security is Adobe's top priority. By default, Adobe Acrobat Sign secures a user's content from all other users unless they've been invited to view the content. However, there are some roles that require oversight of transactions in an organization. Today, I'll be talking about two kinds of user content sharing, basic and advanced. Basic sharing allows another user to view your content on Adobe Acrobat Sign. Advanced sharing allows another user or group to modify or send documents on your behalf, in addition to viewing. If you would like to enable advanced sharing, your admin can submit an Adobe support ticket. I'll show you basic account sharing first. To set up basic account sharing in your Acrobat Sign account, go to Profile Settings, Personal Preferences, and then click Share My Account. Then click on the plus sign and add the email of the person you want to share your content with. You can also review and cancel your shares here. If you want to request to view another user's account, you can do this under View Other Accounts. Press the plus sign and add the email of the person whose content you want to see. Then click Save. The request will show as pending until the other user accepts or declines the invitation. Now that you know how to enable shared content on your account, I'll walk you through how to view content others have shared with you. First, you'll navigate to the Manage tab. At the top left of the Manage page, you can see a drop-down arrow next to your agreements. Click the arrow to expose the list of users and groups that are shared to you. Select the user or group you want to view. There is also an option to select All Shared Agreements, which returns all shared content. Admin controls for sharing can be found by navigating to Account Settings, then clicking Security Settings, then Account Sharing. These are the controls for basic sharing. Do not allow account sharing. This removes the option for content sharing. Allow request to share account. This allows users in the configured account or group to request to view another user's content. Allow sharing own account. This allows users to share their own account with another user. Both. This lets the user request and offer sharing. Okay, great. So that is the basic sharing walkthrough. Now I'm going to walk you through advanced sharing that is available to enterprise accounts and the great features to share with external and internal users and groups. But before I can do that, there are a few things I want to go over, a few admin controls that need to be set up. As an admin, you can set up sharing at the group level, which makes all users' content available to all users in the group. To access group level sharing as a group admin, you can log into your group admin user, click Navigate to Group, then User Group, and Sharing Status. Account admins can manage shares for all groups in the account, including establishing and removing shares. Now, if you need to share a group, all you need to do is navigate to Account, Groups, and then select the group you want to share. When the group settings load, click on Sharing Status. When you go to Account Settings, Security Settings, and Account Sharing, you will notice that two additional options are available with advanced sharing, the ability to enable external and internal accounts. External will allow users to share a read-only version of their account content with users in other Acrobat Sign accounts. With internal accounts, you can also enable internal accounts so users can share their content as well as send and modify agreements and process on behalf of the person sharing the account. All right, now let's show you the features of advanced account sharing which is available to enterprise customers. Advanced sharing allows users to view, share, and modify documents, including fields on agreements. To modify an agreement, go to Manage. Change the view of the user that owns the agreement. Then, click the agreement and expand the options. Click on the action you want to take. You have a lot of options here, including setting reminders, canceling a transaction, or download individual files, meaning download the discrete files of the agreement if more than one was originally uploaded. Now, this is what's really useful about advanced sharing. It has the ability for you to send a document on behalf of a user. So if you own the document, someone can share it and make it look like you sent it, and vice versa. The only place that will show it was sent by a shared account is in the history and audit log. To send an agreement from a shared account, log into your user, click your name in the upper right corner of the screen, and select Switch Account. Pick the user you want to send on behalf of. Click OK. The page will refresh to show a limited interface. The banner at the top of the page indicates that you are in a shared account and identifies the user of that account. 
On the right side of the banner is a link that returns you to your account. Click the Send tab. Configure and send the agreement as normal. Now if you navigate over to the Manage tab, you see that the activity log on the right of the screen for this agreement states that the agreement was sent on behalf of the user. Thank you for joining me for today's demos on sharing content with other users in your organization. If you liked learning about sending a document on behalf of a user, check out Adobe's delegation capability for signing and sending agreements and other great resources in the links below.